This is amazing. Now we're going to see about Vectorshift AI search for your website. Using Vectorshift, you are able to create a chatbot like this, which is capable of searching the whole website and giving us the right answer. If I ask, what is RAG? This is based on my website content. It is searching for relevant information from my website and responding accordingly. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can build a chatbot like this, which is capable of searching over the website data and responding it accurately. Also, we'll be seeing how you can build this from scratch as a no code solution like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Vectorshift AI search. Without an AI search engine on your website, you are going to use keywords based search and it's not going to be so accurate and you can't customize your response and it is not user friendly. By using AI search engine chatbot, you are able to search based on semantic meaning. You are able to get more accurate response. You can customize the response and it is user friendly. In this, we'll be seeing how you can add your custom data, create pipelines, test the whole integration and finally publish it on your website. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to Vectorship for sponsoring this video. This is a no code AI automation platform where you can build pipelines, integrate with multiple large language models, multiple tools, create workflow automation and publish it as a chatbot. You can get started for free, but use Mervin Prisoner's coupon code to get 20% off. So first step, sign into Vectorshift to add your own custom data. After logging into Vectorshift, go to the knowledge tab. There click on new. Here I can give my own name. For example, Mervin Prison website content. And I'm keeping the default settings, but you can change it if required. Then click create. Now we have various options to add your own content. That is custom content. You can upload files. You can integrate with other automation tools. You can also scrape URLs. So in my case, I'm going to scrape URL. Click that, adding my website name, mer.vin, then going to click recursive. And I can choose frequency like daily. That means daily will automatically search for the latest content and it will keep the index up to date. After that, click add document. Now you can see it automatically goes through my website data, extract all the relevant information and store it in the vector database for us to search. Now step number two is to create pipeline. So going to the pipelines tab, there you got multiple templates to start. But in our instance, I'm going to create a custom pipeline from scratch. First, we need the input from the user. So I'm going to click inputs and you got the input. Then we need knowledge base. So adding the knowledge base here. After this, we need to retain a memory for the large language model to understand the previous conversation history. To do that, go to chat and here you got chat memory. So just adding it by the side. Now we need the main large language model. So you got multiple large language models to choose from here. In my case, I'm going to use Anthropic Cloud 3.5. So clicking Anthropic and here I'm going to use Anthropic Cloud 3.5. Now I need to provide a system message. So here is the system message. You are an internal AI search engine. You answer the question based on context and when relevant with history as well and providing furthermore information. Just the basic customization of the response. So here at the bottom I'm mentioning ensure your answer and writing is as concise as possible and to the point. Now we need to add prompt. So I'm going to add three different blocks here. So the first block is the question that is from the user. And here I'm mentioning question. Next, second variable, that is the context. Just mentioning context. And finally, chat history. And the variable is history. That's it, three information. As we can see here, so first is the user input. So that is the question. Then we have the context. So the context comes from the knowledge base and third, the chat memory, that is the history. And one more thing we might need to do is to pass this input to the input of the knowledge reader. So based on the question, it's going to search the knowledge base. Then that information is passed as the context and we have the question and chat history. That's it. Finally, we need to add the output. So in general, we got the output, adding the output here and adding the response output to this output. That's it. We have completed setting our pipeline and here we need to mention our knowledge base. So choosing that from here, now it's all ready. Now deploying those changes 
and let's test this by clicking the play icon here. Now I can ask a question, just typing what is rag in the input area and clicking the run. Now it's passing through the knowledge base, getting relevant information as context and we got the answer here. This is based on the website data. Now successfully we built the whole pipeline using our custom data. Now the final step is to publish it on our website. So we have completed all three steps and now publishing it on website. So in this page at the top, you got the export pipeline. Click on that, click chatbot. They give a name for the chatbot, Mervin Prison chatbot and create chatbot. Now we got the UI getting ready. I'm going to keep everything as it is and click export. And there you got the iframe, just copying the iframe by clicking it. It's copied now. Now coming to my website dashboard, there I'm going to appearance, editor, templates, just clicking on a page and then footer. That's where you can add your iframe code and then click save. That's it. Now it's all published. And if I visit the website, you will have your chatbot ready here. Now I can ask any question based on my website data. What is rag? And here is the response from my website. It searched irrelevant information, giving us the response based on our customization requirement. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.